All right, hey everybody. Today is August 14th, and now I'm gonna be making some of my oxalic pads that I put on my hives, uh, usually in the fall and in the spring. So I'll kind of show you, I'll, I'll have to cut this video up into pieces, but I'll kind of show you what I do. Basically each hive uh, is gonna get three of these pads, and they are, I mix some oxalic acid and vegetable glycerin mix it into solution, heat it up, um, you know, get the, get the oxalic completely dissolved in the glycerin. And then I pour it on these pads, which I put into this, uh, this thing here. Uh, these are some old pads. I'm just going to save these for later. I'm probably not going to end up using them. You know, beekeepers, this stuff is really easy to make. So I mean, if you have this old stuff, I would probably just throw it out. I don't really know how long these last, you know, I made these in early spring or late winter. So I don't, I don't really know how long they last saved, so I'm probably just gonna end up throwing them out anyway. Each hive is gonna get three of these. And this is the, the calculation that I use for these. So if each hive gets three, uh, I basically have 13 hives. So I'm gonna put 13 uh, times three. So I need 39 pads. And then each pad is gonna hold about 20 grams of oxalic. So times 20, uh, 780 grams. So each hive gets three pads, three pads, which is a total of 60, like a 60 gram dose. And that can stay on the hive for months. Um, honestly, I don't really know how long the, the slow release of this oxalic lasts, but eventually the bees will just kind of tear up the pads uh, or propolize them enough to where they completely like kind of get dry. So anyway, I'll need 780 grams of oxalic and I'll mix that with 780 grams of vegetable glycerin. So it's a one-to-one -one mixture, heat it up, pour it on the pads. Um, and I'll be back in a minute to show you, show you that. All right, here's the solution. The solution is starting to heat up. It's not fully, it's not fully dissolved yet. We'll dissolve it. And then here's my 39 pads. I uh, just try to lay them kind of loose in this. Um, these are fiber absorbent pad, kind of industrial or commercial absorbent pad, but they're really good for this because the bees don't really tear them up that much. And they are about, they're about seven inches by about two and three quarter is the size I cut them. Uh, I can get about 14 of these out of one big sheet that they come in. So uh, here's that, I'm waiting on this to finish up and then I'll pour it on this and it'll soak it all up. All right, we're good and, and melted now. So it's all dissolved. Uh, probably just takes about five minutes. Uh, you don't want to heat it up too fast uh, and you want to stir pretty gently. Remember, this is an acid. So, uh, you know, protect yourself, wear some gloves. Um, probably you want to wear a, like a face mask or like a breathing mask or something. You don't want to stick your head right over this because it does have some like acid fumes kind of coming off of it. But I'll just pour it over this carefully and let it sit and that'll be it. Uh, let me know if you got any questions.